20 Incredible Facts About Pigeons Though they're often described as rats with wings, pigeons are actually pretty cool. From homing instincts to misleading rump feathers, here are 20 20 incredible facts about pigeons you might not know about these avian adventurers. How old are pigeons? Pigeons have lived alongside man for thousands of years with the first images of pigeons being found by archaeologists in Mesopotamia modern Iraq, and dating back to 3000 BC. It was the Sumerians in Mesopotamia that first started to breed white doves from the wild pigeon that we see in our towns and cities today and this undoubtedly accounts, certainly in part, for the amazing variety of colors that are commonly found in the average flock of urban pigeons. To ancient peoples a white pigeon would have seemed miraculous and this explains why the bird was widely worshipped and considered to be sacred. Throughout human history the pigeon has adopted many roles ranging from symbols of gods and goddesses through to sacrificial victims, messengers, pets, food and even war heroes. Pigeon guano, foul or fantastic? Although pigeon guano is seen as a major problem for property owners in the 21st century, it was considered to be an invaluable resource in the 16th, 17th and 18th centuries in Europe. Pigeon guano was a highly prized fertilizer and considered to be far more potent than farmyard manure. So prized, in fact, that armed guards were stationed at the entrances to dovecotes pigeon houses, to stop thieves stealing it. Not only this, but in England in the 16th century pigeon guano was the only known source of saltpeter, an essential ingredient of gunpowder and considered to be a highly valued commodity as a result. In Iran, where eating pigeon flesh was forbidden, dovecotes were set up and used simply as a source of fertilizer for melon crops. In France and Italy it was used to fertilize vineyards and hemp crops. The pigeon is a war hero. In modern times the pigeon has been used to great effect during wartime. In both the First and Second World Wars the pigeon saved hundreds of thousands of human lives by carrying messages across enemy lines. Pigeons were carried on ships in convoys and in the event of a U-boat attack a messenger pigeon was released with details of the location of the sinking ship. In many cases this led to survivors being rescued and lives saved. In the First World War mobile pigeon lofts were set up behind the trenches from which pigeons often had to fly through enemy fire and poison gas to get their messages home. The birds also played a vital role in intelligence gathering and were used extensively behind enemy lines where the survival rate was only 10%. In the Second World War pigeons were used less due to advances in telecommunications, but the birds still relayed invaluable information back to the Allies about the German V-1 and V-2 rocket sites on the other side of the English Channel. The pigeon is a messenger. The earliest large-scale communication network using pigeons as messengers was established in Syria and Persia around the 5th century BC. Much later, in the 12th century AD, the city of Baghdad and all the main towns and cities in Syria and Egypt were linked by messages carried by pigeons. This was the sole source of communication. In Roman times the pigeon was used to carry results of sporting events, such as the Olympic Games, and this is why white doves are released at the start of the Olympic Games today. In England, prior to the days of telegraphs, pigeons were often taken to football matches and released to carry home the result of the game. Their use as a messenger in wartime resulted in many pigeons being awarded honours by both the British and French governments. Incredibly, the last pigeon post service was abandoned in India in 2004 with the birds being retired to live out the rest of their days in peace. The Religious Significance of the Pigeon Many religious groups, including Muslims, Hindus and Sikhs, feed pigeons for religious reasons. Many older Sikhs feed pigeons ceremoniously to honor the high priest and warrior Guru Gobind Singh who was a known friend of the pigeon or rock dove. 
Some Sikhs feed pigeons because they believe that when they are reincarnated they will never go hungry if they have fed pigeons in their previous life. Other religious groups in India believe that when a person dies his or her soul assumes the form of a bird normally a pigeon, and therefore by feeding pigeons and other birds they are caring for the souls of their departed ancestors. The pigeon is revered in India with huge flocks numbering many thousands of birds being fed daily at Hindu temples in town and city centers throughout the country. In both Eastern and Western societies many of the most entrenched pigeon-related problems in urban areas are considered to be caused, certainly in part, by religious feeding of pigeons. Famous pigeons During the First World War a pigeon named Cher Amy saved the lives of many French soldiers by carrying a message across enemy lines in the heat of battle. Cher Amy was shot in the chest and the leg, losing most of the leg to which the message was attached, but continued the 25-minute flight avoiding shrapnel and poison gas to get the message home. Cher Amy was awarded the French Croix de Guerre Medal for Heroic Service. Another heroic pigeon named G.I. Joe saved the lives of a thousand soldiers in World War II after British troops had established a position within an Italian town that was due to be bombed by Allied planes. Communication equipment was down and the only means of stopping the raid was to attach a hastily written message to G.I. Joe and send him to the Allied HQ. G.I. Joe flew 20 miles in 20 minutes arriving at the air base whilst the planes were taxiing on the runway. Disaster was averted with five minutes to spare. G.I. Joe received the Dickon Medal for his bravery. Rock dove or pigeon, pause equals three the feral pigeon that we see in our towns and cities today is descended from the rock dove, a cliff-dwelling bird historically found in coastal regions. The word pigeon is actually derived from the Latin word pipio, which means young bird. The word then passed into Old French as pigeon, and thus the English name pigeon was derived, which is now used the world over as a common name for the rock dove. Other common names include domestic pigeon and the feral pigeon. In 2004 British and American ornithologists officially renamed the bird the rock pigeon. Why do pigeons bob their heads? The pigeon has side-mounted eyes, unlike humans and owls which have forward-facing eyes. As pigeons have monocular vision rather than binocular vision they bob their heads for depth of perception. The pigeon's eyes function much better with stationary images and therefore as the pigeon takes a step forward the head is temporarily left behind. The next step jerks the head forward again and so on. This allows the bird to correctly orient itself. Pigeon Gram Air Mail Service The first organized pigeon airmail service was started in 1896 between New Zealand and the Great Barrier Island. The sinking of the SS Wairarapa off the Great Barrier Island, with the loss of 134 lives, was a catalyst for the service. News of the disaster did not reach New Zealand for three days and as a direct result a pigeon gram service was set up between the two islands. The first message was carried in January 1896 and took less than 1.75 hours to reach Auckland. Up to five messages were carried by each pigeon with the record time for the journey being held by a pigeon called Velocity taking only 50 minutes and averaging 125 kmph only 40% slower than a modern aircraft. Special pigeon gram stamps were issued costing 2, 10 pence each with the fee being paid in cash before the pigeon was released. Pigeons in Wall Street One of the richest and most famous families in the world amassed its wealth, certainly in part, as a result of exploiting the pigeon. In the early 1800s the Rothschild family set up a network of pigeon lofts throughout Europe and used homing pigeons to carry information between its financial houses. This method proved to be quicker and more efficient than any other means of communication available at the time. The speed of the service and the ability to send and receive information ahead of the competition helped the Rothschild family amass a fortune, which still exists today.
Mating habits of the pigeon The pigeon mates for life and can breed up to eight times a year in optimum conditions, bringing two young into the world each time. The frequency of breeding is dictated by the abundance of food. Pigeon eggs take 18 19 days to hatch with both parents incubating the eggs. Young dependent pigeons are commonly known as squabs. Both parents feed the young with a special pigeon milk that is regurgitated and fed to the squabs. Each squab can double its birth weight in one day but it takes three days before the heart starts beating and four days for the eyes to open. When squabs are hungry they squeak whilst flapping their wings and as a result they are also commonly known as squeakers. At approximately two months of age the young are ready to fledge and leave the nest. This longer than average time spent in the nest ensures that the life expectancy of a juvenile pigeon is far greater than that of other fledglings. Pigeons are big business. We normally think of the pigeon as being an unwelcome guest in our towns and cities, but most of us are unaware that racing pigeons can be worth huge sums of money. One racing pigeon recently sold for a staggering $132,517. The three-year-old bird was a champion racer, beating 21,000 other pigeons in one long-distance race. For this reason he was bought by a British company that breeds racing pigeons for stud. One very happy pigeon. The previous record price for a racing pigeon was $73,800.00. How do pigeons navigate? There are many theories about how pigeons manage to return home when released 100s of miles from their loft. A champion racing pigeon can be released 400 to 600 miles away from its home and still return within the day. This amazing feat does not just apply to racing or homing pigeons, all pigeons have the ability to return to their roost. A 10-year study carried out by Oxford University concluded that pigeons use roads and motorways to navigate, in some cases even changing direction at motorway junctions. Other theories include navigation by use of the Earth's magnetic field, visual clues such as landmarks, the sun and even infrasounds, low-frequency seismic waves. Whatever the truth, this unique ability makes the pigeon a very special bird. Famous people and pigeons The humble pigeon has attracted some very famous fans over the last few thousand years ranging from royalty to rock and roll singers and actors through to fashion designers. One of the most famous royals is Queen Elizabeth of England who has lofts and pigeon keepers at her estate in Sandringham, Norfolk. Pigeon breeding was a common hobby in Victorian England for everyone from well-off businessmen to average Joes, leading to some fantastically weird birds. Few hobbyists had more enthusiasm for the breeding process than Charles Darwin, who owned a diverse flock, joined London pigeon clubs, and hobnobbed with famous breeders. Darwin's passion for the birds influenced his 1868 book The Variation of Animals and Plants Under Domestication, which has not one but two chapters about pigeons, dogs and cats share a single chapter. Nikola Tesla was another great mind who enjoyed pigeons. He used to care for injured wild pigeons in his New York City hotel room. Hands down, Tesla's favorite was a white female, about whom he once said, I loved that pigeon, I loved her as a man loves a woman and she loved me. When she was ill, I knew and understood, she came to my room and I stayed beside her for days. I nursed her back to health. That pigeon was the joy of my life. If she needed me, nothing else mattered. As long as I had her, there was a purpose in my life. Reportedly, he was inconsolable after she died. Elvis Presley had a soft spot for pigeons and Mike Tyson is also an enthusiastic pigeon keeper. Even Maurizio Gucci, the internationally renowned fashion designer, is a keen pigeon fancier spending a reputed $10,000 on one American pigeon. One famous couple, Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward, are reputedly both keen pigeon fanciers, but after being swamped by autograph hunters at a pigeon show they are apparently less comfortable to show their affection for the birds publicly. Last but not least, and probably the most famous of all, Noah. Pigeon disasters 
probably the greatest disaster to befall the species was the extermination of the passenger pigeon in North America in the early part of the 20th century. It is estimated that there were 3 to 5 billion passenger pigeons in North America at the time. Flocks of 100,000 of the birds would blacken the skies as they flew over, but early settlers managed to wipe out every last bird by 1914 through overhunting. A more recent and quite bizarre disaster befell tens of thousands of racing pigeons released from Nantes in France as part of a race held to celebrate the centenary of the Royal Pigeon Racing Association in England. 60,000 pigeons were released but only a few birds ever arrived back at their lofts throughout southern England. One theory suggests that the sonic boom created by Concorde as it flew over the English Channel, at the precise time the pigeons would have been at the same point, completely disorientated the birds, throwing out their inbuilt navigation system. Pigeons as lifesavers Although the pigeon is one of the most intelligent of all the bird species, man has found limited uses for the birds other than for the purposes of sport, food and as a message carrier. A team of Navy researchers, however, has found that pigeons can be trained to save human lives at sea with high success rates. Project Sea Hunt has trained a number of pigeons to identify red or yellow life jackets when floating in the water. The pigeons were not only found to be more reliable than humans, but they were also many times quicker when it came to spotting survivors from a capsized or sinking boat. The pigeon can see color in the same way that humans do but they can also see ultraviolet, a part of the spectrum that humans cannot see, and this is one of the reasons they are so well adapted to lifesaving. Pigeons in the news One of the world's most famous news agencies, Reuters, started its European business by using trained homing pigeons. The service was started in 1850 with 45 pigeons carrying the latest news and stock prices from Aachen in Germany to Brussels in Belgium. Although a telegraph service between the two countries existed, numerous gaps in the transmission lines made communication difficult and slow. The birds traveled the 76 miles in a record-breaking two hours, beating the railway by four hours. Why do you never see a baby pigeon? Most small birds rear and fledge their young in two-thirds of a week with young birds sometimes leaving the nest after only 10 days of life, but pigeons are different, their young remain in the nest for up to two months before fledging. This gives the young pigeon a distinct advantage over many other species of bird due to the fact that it leaves the nest as a relatively mature juvenile, allowing the bird to cope better in the first few days of its life, a dangerous time for all youngsters. Juveniles can be told apart from adults but it takes an experienced eye. A juvenile's beak often appears to be far too long for the size of its body and the sear the fleshy area at the top of the beak is white in adults and grayish pink in juveniles. What is the natural predator of the pigeon? Although the natural enemy of the feral pigeon is now man, with millions of pigeons being killed in control operations the world over, it is the peregrine falcon that is the pigeon's real natural predator. Although a shy and retiring bird that has its natural habitat along rocky coastlines, the peregrine is now being introduced into towns and cities as a natural pigeon control. The peregrine is the fastest bird on the planet when in a dive and can achieve speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour, over 130 miles per hour faster than a pigeon. A pigeon's intelligent. Pigeons are considered to be one of the most intelligent birds on the planet and able to undertake tasks previously thought to be the sole preserve of humans and primates. The pigeon has also been found to pass the mirror test being able to recognize its reflection in a mirror and is one of only six species, and the only non-mammal, that has this ability. The pigeon can also recognize all 26 letters of the English language as well as being able to conceptualize. In scientific tests pigeons have been found to be able to differentiate between photographs and even differentiate between two different human beings in a photograph when rewarded with food for doing so.
Subscribe to my channel now. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.